Um, the application I'm going to be showing you guys right now is called Checkup. I'm going to go ahead and let this load real quick. It's from app for mac uh, When it first pops up, you can set, uh, you got a few settings here. You can have it check this computer or remote computer, or you can set up uh, the preferences for this application. Uh, you can either have this show at launch or not, which I have up until now, but don't really need to now. Um, i go up into the menu bar real quick. Uh, it tells you about checkup. Uh, you can click and find more products by app format. Uh, and then there's a link over here to the forums that they have. Uh, you can have it check for updates. Uh, you get a trial with this. Uh, mine's already registered, but you can enter your license here. Uh, you can connect to a remote Mac uh, or you can set up your printing. Uh, your basic edit menu view, you've got uh, profile system processors, uh, memory disks, network processes, and uh, processors, my bad, that was the first one, um, and documents. I tend to not read things, I just see the beginning of it and assume I know what the rest of the word is. Um, but you can find these all down here or on the actual user, uh, user interface right here. Um, window you've got minimize, zoom, and bring all to front and uh, your basic uh, help menu over here which you've got your form uh, it looks like they have a Facebook that you can add uh, you can send feature requests, you can send a bug report, and you can view the frequently asked questions along with a PDF file here. Um, so now that we got that out of the way, I'll go ahead and go into the preferences, which I forget to do sometimes when I do these videos. Um, you can have check up launch when you start your Mac up, um, and you can display the assistant window at launch, which was what uh, first popped up when I started this. I have both of those turned off. Uh, because once you have this set up, uh, it'll actually do a lot of this stuff even without the application running, which is cool. Um, the interface, you can have it display temperatures of Celsius. Uh, instead of Fahrenheit, um, you can display an animation uh, 3D cube or move. I do the cube, this looks a little bit cooler. Um, you can set, uh, if you want to use this display uh, in the toolbar, There's I think there's three different displays you can use, and I'll show you those in a second. Uh, remote monitoring, where you can uh, authorize the monitoring of this computer from a remote computer, like if I want to check this if I'm somewhere else, or downstairs, or uh, on another computer. And you can also get your preferences from here, this little blue icon. Um, you've got notifications you can set up. I'll start over here on the processor. You can have it alert you if the temperature gets to a certain, uh, if the temperature gets to a certain number. Uh, for more than 10 minutes or 5 minutes or whatever you want to set that to. Uh, the level reaches 100% for more than 10 minutes or the internal fans stop working. I have all those checked and this is what I was talking about. This will still pop up even with the application not running. Um, um, for your RAM, it, if the uh, level reaches 100% for more than whatever number of minutes you want to fill in. Uh, the virtual memory does not have enough space to expand. Your disks um, if the hard drive only has a certain amount of space on it or if the hard drive is having a health problem uh, where you would probably need to run like your disk utility. Um, network, it will tell you how much you can have it alert you if you reach a certain bandwidth, uh, your total bandwidth either in or out or both. Uh, you can have it reset each day or however many days you'd like. Now let's get to the actual uh, interface, what you're going to be using the most. Your profile it actually just tells you about your Mac. And over here you see these little C's. Uh, I think this is to actually, I'm going to test this real quick. Yeah, to copy. Uh, a second. <laughs> to, uh, you can copy these fields out from here. And if you want to copy those to paste them, your IP address or your, your Mac address, your bandwidth used, any of that. Um, it tells you your ports, you got four USB, one Firewire, it tells you your Ethernet, which I'm not using, my Wi-Fi, which I am using in your Bluetooth version. Um, you got your system over here. This is where it'll tell you how many applications you have installed, how many fonts, drivers, internet plugins, uh, preference panes, login items, widgets, and about your operating system. 
um, processors. It'll tell you uh, how much uh, the percentage being used on each of your processors. Um, you can have it show for the past five minutes, or you can do up to one week. Uh, then you can go click over here and do optimize performance, and it will actually optimize the performance of your machine to make it run smoother. Um, here's what I was talking about the different views that you've got. You've got the classic graph, uh, seismograph. So basically, just whichever one of those you want to use. Uh, I think usually I use this one. I don't even remember. Um, memory, you can actually have it, it'll tell you how much RAM you have total, and you can go in here and test it, and it'll actually make sure all of your RAM is uh, in good condition. Which I'm not going to click that because that takes um, that takes a good while to run. I'm not really sure exactly, but it, I think it took mine like close to an hour to run. So I'm definitely not going to take the time to do that. Um, it'll tell your hard drive capacity, how much available you have on all your disks that you have. Uh, this is my Magic Jack uh, here. You can have it view hidden partitions. Uh, you can compute total with hard drives only, and you can repair your disk permissions from here. Uh, network, it'll actually tell you your uh, how much data you have uh, coming in and going out. Uh, all network interfaces, or you can have it do specific. Uh, again, it's got the different types of graphs. You can go for the past one week up to f the last five minutes. You can have it detect all the wireless networks around you. Uh, your process is running. Uh, it'll tell you how much of your RAM it's using, uh, different things like that. You can have it update every second, every five seconds, ten seconds, or thirty seconds. You can quit all running applications. You can sort by processor usage, memory usage, uh, however you want to do that, or a few different things. You can have it uh, sorted by name, threads. Uh, you can have it show the processes only I'm, that only I'm running on my username. Uh, you can have it only do applications, only a top 10. Instead of having everything, it'll just have the top 10. Uh, technical details, which you, it tells you the user, uh, the memory, the threads. Uh, you can have the scale, auto scale bars. Uh, you can turn that off however you want to do that. It'll actually tell you processor is in green and memory is in blue. Uh, then it's got your documents over here. It tells you all the uh, types of documents you have and you can actually have it index your whole computer uh, you can browse hidden files over here uh, you can pick which folder you want to do and you can find duplicates over here too so uh, this is a really cool application uh, it's not free let me check how much this is I'm trying to remember and I'm not really sure uh, they sent this to me couple weeks ago and I've just been really busy lately so I haven't really had a chance to uh, do a review on this yet but uh, it's a really nice application it will definitely give you an idea of how your computer's running uh, if there's any problems it'll be quick to let you know uh, let me see if I can find this checkup it's 20 bucks uh, it's not in US money but uh, you can do one computer two computers five ten twenty five fifty or a hundred uh, you get a free trial with it, so like I said, uh, I try to do all applications that are either free or at least you get a free trial so you can try them before you buy these, but uh, this is definitely a nice application. Um, good for, like I said, letting you know how well your computer's running, so I would definitely recommend it, uh, even though it's a Mac and you, well, for the most part they're going to run fine anyway, but just to be safe, it's always nice to, you know, have that just for... Uh, peace of mind I guess so uh, like I said I would definitely recommend this application try it out and um, pay that little amount that you have to pay uh, to get it if you find that it's useful for you uh, so comment rate subscribe uh, keep checking back and I'll have more videos soon thanks a lot guys